hello everyone and welcome back to my channel what is up loyal royals so today we are going to be doing a men's pedicure and this is my tatted up barber brother so this is his before um he is a barber but he does his own maintenance and keeps up with himself so his pedicure was actually not that hard um maybe i'll try to get a more worse off foot for you guys <laughs> i would try my best but um this was a pretty easy pedicure so just look this as a very relaxing satisfying video um get y'all pen and paper i'm gonna do some talking but yeah this is a pretty easy video but of course i'm trying to get out content for you guys and you guys have not really seen me work on a man yet so here we go so of course if you not have not um looked at my pedicure videos or any of my foot videos i will try to link them down below or place it in the cards um but you want to start off with clipping the toenails down to the desired length most guys do not like their toenails to be long so what i do is i look at the tip of the toenail and then i will cut directly behind where the tip is um only because some toenails have like that extra skin that grows underneath so <clears throat> excuse me so you want to make sure that you cut it straight across but you're not hurting them also so i get it as short as i can and if they want to go home and pick at it and make themselves bleed that's up to them but i only cut it so far so i just want to point out something i'm only 26 i'll be 27 october 9th is it not crazy that i have gray hair in my head like it's a genetic thing but it is so crazy I, and then the front you guys can't see it but i almost have a full streak okay it's wild but yeah so after you cut the toenails down you want to shape and buff and then move on to cuticle work Also, guys, sorry about the angling. I had my best friend record, and this was her first time. But, yeah, we just going to work with it. So, the white stuff I just put on was callus remover. If you have not checked out my pedicure tools video, go look at that for all of my detailed tools and products I use for my pedicures. And I'm taking my metal cuticle pusher right now, and I'm pushing back his cuticles and getting any dead skin from the nail plate off very gently. You don't have to be rough. And then um, after that, I'm going to take my nippers and do some clipping. So, yeah. Isn't that water just so satisfying? Like, this really turned out like a good, good video, in my opinion. But, yeah. How do you guys feel about cutting cuticles? Is this something that you do? Is this something that you do not do? Are you uncomfortable with it? Drop it down in the comments below and let me know what you guys think. As you see, we enjoying ourselves and having fun during this video. So I did cut it down some because we were doing a lot of talking and I had to remove the original audio because, yeah, <laughs> it was fun, though. He is a full time barber. So, of course, he's always on his feet. So getting a pedicure and taking care of himself is completely 100 percent something that he does. Um, but I don't get to see him that often because we're always so, so busy. So this was a very, very good time for the both of us to catch up and sit down and actually talk.
So one thing that you want to pinpoint and pay attention to when you are clipping cuticle is that you are only clipping the skin that is dead and or um, dead or pretty much like raised. You don't want to dig and pry and push and push and push onto the client's toenail, nail bed, or anything like that. So you definitely want to make sure that you are removing the dead skin first from the nail plate and then going over the cuticle area but if you're not comfortable with it you definitely should not be doing it only do what you are comfortable with until you gain that confidence but you definitely want to be careful because you can hurt somebody very badly if you are not fully comfortable or if you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing or clipping the skin that should be clipped so be careful take your time and yeah, after I clip the cuticles, I go ahead and apply oil to the foot and the leg. After I do the left foot, I go ahead and do the right foot. The complete same thing. File, buff, cuticle. Um, I mean, file, cut down the nail, file, cuticles, buff, and then apply the oil. So after those steps, I'm going to go ahead and start to remove the calluses on the bottom of the feet and then do the leg scrub. So first I like to take my callus remover and I apply it on the back of my hand and then I apply it to the bottom of the foot. The reason why I apply it to, to the back of the hand is because 
Um, this will make sure that I don't get anything on the front of my hand where I might be using to rub the leg scrub on. Callus remover, depending on the brand, can be very, very um, super strong for the certain parts of your foot or your leg. So I always use the back because as you see, I use a leg scrub and this is a homemade leg scrub. If you guys want to see on how to make that, let me know. But callus remover is pretty much made for just the bottom of the foot. So I never want it to be on the other side of my hand and I'm sitting here like rubbing and massaging and exfoliating the leg because then the callus remover will, could possibly burn the top of the skin. It's only made for the bottom of the foot. So yes, after I do that, I will apply my um, leg scrub and I'm gonna take this big silver thing right here which is similar to a cheese grater, but it's not a cheese grater, guys. It is a foot file. And I take that and I am removing any dead skin and sh shaving down any calluses that may be on the feet. Thankfully, he didn't really have a lot. Sorry, guys, if you wanted to see a little bit of grossness. But like I said, he's a full-time barber and standing on his feet is very important. So he takes care of his feet very well. Um, as you see on the silver file, there is some white stuff that is the dead skin being removed. So after that, I'm going to take my purple pumice stone, which is coarse, and I'm going to apply a little bit more callus remover. And then I'm going to go over the bottom of the feet again to help smooth and remove anything else that I could have missed with the foot file. After that, the foot goes back in the water and then I do the same thing to the other foot. So how do you guys feel about doing feet? Um, I honestly don't find it gross at all. Some people find it disgusting, but I like it. It's relaxing and it's a major transformation every time I do someone's pedicure. So what do you guys think about pedicures?
After I have cleaned the feet and removed the scrub from the legs, I'm going to go in and apply some cuticle oil to the legs and the foot as well as some massage lotion. I like to mix the two because I feel like it creates a nice aroma and smell and it also deeply moisturizes, especially oil. Lotion is good for moisturization, but if you want something to seep into the skin, the cracks of the feet and stuff like that, for a faster penetration, you definitely want to use cuticle oil. Um, I like to use La Palme's products. They have amazing products. They smell good and they're really, really beneficial. And I massage my clients on every basic pedicure for about five to six minutes. If they want an extended massage of 10 minutes, then they go ahead and pay the extra fee. Um, but yes, massaging is pretty easy because you're not doing like strict manipulations. They teach us in school how to massage and how to do effleurage and tapping and all that kind of stuff. But most people don't want or care about that. They just want a nice massage, a relaxation massage. So typically I go over the legs, the calves, I would deeply rub along the sides of the leg and then I will go over the feet. For him, I paid more attention to his feet because he's a barber and he stands up all day. But for other people, I typically do a mixture of both. But as long as it is relaxing and comfortable for your client, trust and believe they won't have any problems. Right, guys i really hope you liked and enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up if it was satisfying and easy to watch um if you guys have any questions drop them down below let me know what you want to see as well and give me some positive feedback 
um i enjoyed doing this video like i said this was my barber brother so when you're in this field it's great to have good people who support you and you support them and it was nice for him to come and sit and let me record you know and all that he was comfortable so yeah let me know what you think like comment subscribe and share turn on those post notifications and don't forget to check the description box for any things that i have pinpointed and or my social media and stuff like that so this is his after and don't forget glitter makes everything better so keep shining i will see you in the next video peace Thank you.